Woo! Good morning and welcome to GetFitNow.com Boot Camp. It's 5.30 in the morning. My name is Paul Frediani. And I'm Stu Smith. I'm Simone Peterson. Welcome. Get ready for a great workout. Upper body, lower body, abdominals, lower back. It's going to be a great time, a great workout. Join us. Let's go. You won't be disappointed. Okay, we're all warmed up now and ready to go. Before we start any exercise program, you want to go through a little stretching routine and you always want to start from head to toe. We're going to start off with our neck exercises, yeses and nos. We're going to start to the left and to the right, to the left and right. We'll do this about five more times. One, two, three, four, and five, excellent. Now we just go, yes, drop the chin down to our chest and bring it up, down and up. Careful not to hyperextend the neck backwards. And we'll do this four more times. One, two, three, and four. Great, now we'll move right down to the shoulders. Lift your shoulders up and back, and let's rotate them back about six times. One. Big rotation, two, three, four, that's it, five, and six. Let's rotate them forward six times. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Great. Extend the left arm forward. We're going to stretch the middle of our upper back and bring it in and hold it. You can hold it in for about 15 seconds, stretching the middle of your shoulder blades. Make sure you drop that shoulder. Shoulders and ears are mortal enemies when it comes to stretching. Keep them away from each other. Let's switch sides. Pull it across. Anywhere from 10 to 20 seconds. Now we're going to move into a dynamic movement of the stretch. You're going to move into the stretch and hold it for two to three seconds. So you lift your left arm up, bring it across. One, two, and switch. One, two, that's it. One, two, that's it. One, two, two more. One, two, one, two. Last one, one, two, and one, two, excellent. Lift the left arm up, bring it back like you're scratching the back of your neck. Extend the right hand to give yourself a little bit of assistance. You're stretching the back of your arm, your tricep, and the side of your back, your fiscus dorsi. Give yourself a little assistance. Excellent. And switch arm positions. Good. Now we're going to a little bit of a dynamic stretch this way. We'll just move right into the position and give ourselves a little bit of a hold. Just keep our, your arms back, switch positions back here, and hold, one, two, switch, 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 and hold. Widen the feet a little bit, bend your knees, Fold over, give yourself a little bit more of a stretch. That's it. Always breathe as you're stretching. And switch over to the other side, and lean to the left. Stay with your breath. Great, excellent. Relax, we're gonna do a tree hugger. Our feet together, we're gonna wrap our arms around like you're wrapping around a big tree. Squeeze your knees, bend at the waist a little bit. Bring your chin down to your chest. You should feel the stretch from your lower back all the way up to your neck. And just hold the stretch and relax it. And hold it. And relax it. Keep your abdominals really tight. Squeeze your abs. And relax. In this position, we're going to go into a rooster crow. Hands interlaced behind the back, chest up high, lift your arms up, chest up in the air, and squeeze your chest. Big stretch in the front, and 
and relax it. Press your chest up to the air. That's it. And relax. Press your chest up to the air. Relax. Now we're going to alternate between the tree hugger and the rooster crow. One. And back. Two. And back. Two more. Three. Right down to the quadricep now. Lifting your right foot to your butt. Now, if you have a problem with balance here, what do you do, Stu? Let me pull off to you here. How about if I touch my belly button? Does that work? That too. Don't ask me how this works, but somehow it helps me keep my balance. Okay. Let me touch the top of your head. And if you want to, you just hold on to a chair or something. There you go. You can press your hip forward, get a little bit more of a stretch. Together, you'll really feel the stretch and all the way from your hip flexor down to your knees. And try keeping your knees together. Don't fold your knee out. It's hard on your knees. Great. Stretch it over the other side. It also helps us to focus on a certain target. Keep your balance. And relax. Feet together. A hamstring stretch. Legs straight. Bend over at the waist. Do not hump over your back. Keep it nice and straight. And just hang slowly. Let gravity take its roll here. And you should feel this in your glutes and the back of your legs. And just breathe into it. Doesn't matter how far down you go. Feel the stretch a little bit at a time. Consistency is the key. And move. Yeah. Excellent. We'll roll it up. Push the right foot back. Press your heel down into the ground. We're stretching our calf muscles. Straight leg. In this position here, lift the heel up, stretch the Achilles. Bring your feet together. Press your right left leg back, heel to the ground, stretching your calf. And lift your heel up. Press your heel down towards the ground. You should feel this in your Achilles tendon. Important to get that warmed up for sure. And come on up. And now we're ready to start an exercise routine. Here's a great set for overall shoulder strength. In this set, we're going to work the front of the shoulders, the medial part of our shoulders, and the back of our shoulders. We're going to start off first with 10 push ups. Get into your push up positions. We'll do 10 push-ups. Down. One. Down. Two. Down. Three. Down. Four. Down. Five. Down. Seven. Down. Seven. Down. Eight. Down. Nine. Down. Ten. Excellent. Coming up to your knees, grab your weights. Keep your shoulder blades pressed backwards. Weights in front of you. You're going to lift your elbows up 10 times. One. Two, don't lift your shoulders. Three, four, Keep your elbows five, higher than your hand. six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep the weights up here. Flip them up. Press them up over our heads. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10. Drop the weights down by your ankles. Come on forward on your stomach. Hands out in front of you. Lift your hands up off the ground. Bring them down to your hips and back up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more. One, two, three, four. Keep those hands up. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stay with me, arms to the side. Pulse up ten times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Eight, nine, ten. Great work. Nice shoulder workout. Okay, guys, next set. We're working the biceps and the triceps, so grab those dumbbells. First thing we're doing is bicep curls. Your knees are slightly bent. Take a little strain off your lower back. We're going to pull the, the dumbbells up to our shoulders and back down. We're going to do 15 of these things. There's two and three and four. All the way up, all the way down. Straighten those arms. Take them all the way up to your shoulders. There's seven, eight, nine, and we got five more of these things. Keep it up. There's one, two, three, four, and five. All right, the next exercise we're doing, we're going to work the triceps. I want you to clink your dumbbells together like so. Take them over your head. Bend your elbows, try to keep your elbows as close to your head as possible, and extend your arms straight up and down. There you go, there's one and two. There's three, working the triceps here. Four, five, six, watch that posture, keep your back straight. There's eight, nine, and we got five more. And a one. Should feel this stretching and flexing in the back of the arm there. Working that waving muscle for you. Four. Those of you who have some soft underarms there. And five. Okay, next exercise. We're going to rest our triceps, work our biceps again. Doing alternating hammer curls. Starting with the right arm first. There's a one. And a one. Two. Two. Three. Three. Four. Four. Looks just like you're running. Five. Seven, seven, good job. Nine, ten, we got five more of these, and a one. Two, should be feeling in the bicep right now. How you doing, Paul? Great. All right, five, and 15, all right. Next exercise is the tricep kickback. The way it looks, I want you to lift your elbows up. Your hands come closer to your hips here, a little bit higher than your hips. I want you to just extend your arms behind you, like so. There's one, and a two, three, four, five, six. You should feel this burn when your arms are straight behind you. When your arms are flexed, you should be feeling it right there. There you go, we got five more, and a one. Like so, two, three, four, and a five. All right, relax down beside you. Next thing we're doing is curls again, just like we started. We're going to do a little bit different this time. We're going to start off with just half curls, starting all the way in the down position, going halfway up. There's a one, two, all the way down, halfway up. Three, three four, five. Okay, the next five, we're going all the way up to the top, going halfway down. There's a one, two, three, four, five, and now all the way down, the last five, all, right. all the way up, all the way down, there you go, Yeah. there's two, should we be feeling this right now in the bicep, good pump, four, and a five, all right, the last one, once again, we're doing a push-pull routine here, the next one is working our push muscles, doing the triceps again, over the head, tricep extensions, and bringing it up, and down. There's two. 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four extension at the top. Ten, we got five more to go. And a one, keep it up. Two, three, good burn. Four, and a five. Good job, that was sweet. Good bye try workout. Let's get ready for legs, feet, shoulder width apart. Hands forward over your head or to the side. Ready? We're going to take deep squats. Down. One. Down. Two. Down. Three. Down. Four. Tight stomach. Five. Down. Six. Down. That's chest up high. Eight. Down. Nine. Down. Ten. Let's bring it down in post. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stay with me. Come on up. Up and down ten times. Down. One. Down. Looks like you sit down. 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 Six. Down. Seven. Down. Eight. Down. Nine. Down. Let's bring it down to a posting position. Up and down 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Drive it up through the heels. Up and down 10 times. Down. Go one. Down. Two. Keep your heels firmly on the ground. Down. Four, down, 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 seven, down, eight, there we go, nine, down, ten, last pulse, let's drop it down, Ooh, one, apart. two, keep breathing, three, little squat, four, five, six, uh oh, seven, are we in there? Oh, oh, Let's see. Uh, more. Three more. One. Two, more. two. Let's finish up. Three. Uh, Good work, everyone. Woo, Left foot off. forward, right foot back. Let's go right into some lunges. Up and down, ten times on each leg. Right knee goes almost down to the ground. Chest up high, shoulders back, tight abdominals. Down. Down. Two. Down. Bend both knees. Down. Down. Keep that knee over down. your foot. Six. Down. Seven. Down. Down. Nine. Down. And let's switch it up. Right foot forward. Left foot back. <laughs> Chest up high. Drop the left knee down. Tight abdominals. Down. Oh, one. Down. Two. Down. Three. Down. Four. Down. Five. Down. Six. Down. Seven. Down. Down, nine, down, ten. Good work, everyone. Woo, good job. All right, next exercise set. We're going to do crunches and lower back exercises. Real easy, starting off with crunches, hands behind your head, not grasping your head, just slightly supporting it. I want you to just come up, lift your shoulder blades off the ground, and bring it back down. There's one. And up. Two. Up, three, up, four, up, five. Try to keep your abdominals contracted throughout the whole motion. Eight, nine, ten, up one, two. Hey, Stu, you know, when it comes to exercise, there's never no reason not to do something, right? <laughs> That's right. You can do this in front of the TV, laying on the bed, whenever you want. Always work your abs. There's 20, got five more, and a one. Two, three, four, and a five. All right, anytime you work your abs, you also want to work your lower back. Here's how we're going to work the lower back. Let's flip on over. We're going to lay on our belly. First, let's go ahead and give yourself a little ab stretch. Stretch out your stomach. 
And let's walk your hands on out. We're gonna just lift our hands up, flexing the lower back and then bringing them back down. We're gonna do 15 of these. Here's number two. And three. Four. Five. Make sure your feet are on the ground. Feet are on the ground. You should feel these right in your lower back. Almost like it's cramping up on you. There's ten. We got five more. Hold one. Two. Three. Four. And five. Basically what we're doing is working opposing muscle groups. Your abdominals oppose your lower back and vice versa. When you're flexing one, you're, stre you're stretching the other. So that's what we're doing. Go across your left leg over your right leg. Go take your right elbow to your left knee. And a one, doing 25 of these. Two, three, three. work a little bit of the obliques. Four, five, five. Six. six, seven, eight, nine. nine. I feel it. And yep, start to work. One, two, Exhale, Go over halfway there. There's 15. Go on. Two. Three. Four. Five more. Go on. Two. Three. Four. And five. Good job. Hey, let's switch it. Let's go ahead and do another set of 25, taking your left elbow to your right knee. And a one. You know, it's important to keep those obliques strong. It stabilizes your lower back. Four, five, that's why we're doing them. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Four, one, two. Try to take that elbow as close three, to your knee as you can. You may not be able to do right now if you're a beginner, five, but eventually you'll be able to get yourself up there. As long seven, as you're lifting that shoulder blade off the ground, that's all you need to do. Five, got five more. more and a one. And you can do abdominals every single day. Four and a five. And relax. All right, once again, posing muscle group, working the lower back. A little bit of easier lower back exercise right here. So lay on our belly. Do a little stomach stretch before we do anything. Just lift your shoulders up off the floor, looking up at the sky. And coming back down, hands up underneath your chin. Once again, feet on the floor, and lifting up and down. Just doing 10 of these. Two, three. You know what I call these two? Four, what's that? Lowest lanes. Why do you call them lowest lanes? Because we look so cute when we do them. <laughs> okay. I just thought it was a little easier than the Supermans that we did earlier. Like that. <laughs> Weird names for exercises we have. And 10, good job. Flipping over on the other side. We got one more set of our cross leg sit-ups. This time I'm going to do a different version of this one. Instead of crossing my leg like this, I'm going to stick this leg straight up in the air and take a right elbow to my left knee. This makes it a little bit tougher on the abs there. There's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Yeah, 15 more. Two, three, four, five. Oh, this exercise is making me hungry. Seven, yes. Eight, nine, twenty. You got five more. Oh, one, two, three, four, and a five. All right. Big deep breath. Ah, you should be feeling that in your abs right now. All right. Left elbow going to the right knee. Last set of abs. So one, one, two, three. And it's important to drink lots of water regardless of the temperature. Even when it's chilly outside, before, during, and after your exercise. Yep. There's 12. Halfway there. 13. Four. If you're just starting out with your ab program, it's a modified version. Five more. Two, three, four, and five. All right, last set of blowing back exercises. Stand on her belly. Once again, just sticking out, arms out in front of you. We're doing a modified swimmer. Just sticking your hands out and just alternating them up and down. Just like 
right there. Isolating each side of the lower back there. Feet are firmly planted on the floor. Feeling the lower back. All right, that's it. Good job. Bring it back up. And let's get ready for stretch. Whew. It's just as important to stretch after your workout as it is before. All right, we're going to do a modified post-workout stretch. Some yeses and noes. So first, we'll start with some noes to the left and to the right five times. One, two, three, four, and five. And we'll do some yeses. One, two, three. Four, five, a few roller shoulders, three backwards, big circles, one, two, three, and forward, one, two, and three. Left arm up, bring it across, one, dynamically, two, one more, and three. Right side up, bring it across, one, hold it. Two, one more, and three. Great, back scratchers. Left arm up and over. One, relax, two, and three. Hold it a little bit here the last time. Good, switch arm position. Press it down, one, relax it, two, and three. Good work. Tree hugger and rooster crow. Ah, yeah. Tree hugger and rooster crow. And tree hugger and rooster crow. Feet shoulder width apart. Do some peach pickers. Left arm up, right arm down. Reach for the sky and switch position. And two, and three, and four. Great. Feet together. Grab the right foot. Pull it back. Press your hips forward. And switch sides. Whoop. What's that chair I was talking about? <laughs> Go grab your ear. <laughs> grab my ear, quick. Good. All right, left foot forward, right foot back. Stretch the Achilles and the calf. Well, first the calf, the heel down on the ground. Lift the heel, get the Achilles, and switch it off. Pressing our heel down for our calf. We'll lift it up here, get the Achilles. Excellent work. On behalf of the GetFitNow.com boot camp, We'd like to thank you so much for joining us. It's been a great time. We had a great workout. How y'all feel? Feeling good. Feeling good. You ready for some pasta? I don't know about you fellas. I'm going back to Australia. Oh, yeah. I'm going home to the south. Come on, let's go.